Princess Eugenie has launched a desperate plea urging us to protect Earth's oceans, following in the footsteps of Princes Harry and William and Meghan Markle. By issuing a bid for society to take action. The princess and mother who is an ambassador of the Blue Marine Foundation. Co. wrote a piece for Spears magazine with Claire Brooke, CEO of the foundation. The article hails the ocean. As the best natural solution we have to climate change on the planet. She also praised the environmental work being done on Ascension Island. A United Kingdom overseas territory that lies 1,000 miles off the coast of Africa, reports the Express. If the rest of the world were to follow Ascension's example, we could see fish stocks recovering in carbon, absorbing habitats reviving within a few years, all with the potential to mitigate climate change, she wrote. There is only one ocean. The challenges it faces are sadly man-made and most can be turned around if we act now. If we work together to protect it, the ocean will protect us, in perpetuity. Ascension, which is a volcanic island, is just 88 square kilometers in size and has a population of around 800 people. Despite its tiny size, the island is home to a ground-breaking initiative aiming to protect oceans. The Blue Marine Foundation and its Great British Oceans Coalition partners are aiming to protect 99.5% of the island's waters. The Princess article will appear in the special 15th anniversary edition of Spears magazine, which has been produced in partnership with the Blue Marine Foundation. Her plea comes just weeks after Harry and Meghan. Markle met with UN Deputy Secretary, General Amina Muhammad at UN headquarters in New York to talk about climate change. After the meeting, Muhammad said they discussed how to engage on issues we care about deeply, such as vaccine equity. Climate action, the economic empowerment of women, youth engagement, and mental well-being. However, the pair were slammed for later using a private jet to return home to their 11 million pounds home in California. Former government minister Norman Baker, 64, told Newsweek. It's completely hypocritical for Prince Harry or other members of the royal family to lecture people about climate change when they're emitting more carbon than almost everyone else on the planet. People using private jets are in the top 1% of carbon emitters in the world. Prince Harry needs to stop using private jets, or if he wants to use private jets, he needs to stop lecturing people on climate change, Baker said. It is not particularly challenging to get a flight from New York to California, people do it all the time. His criticism comes after the couple reportedly used 21 private jets in two years. William has also urged the public to work to safeguard the planet with his Earthshot initiative.